Hi, I'm Dr. Bill Sanborn from the Mayo Clinic. I'm a professor of medicine at the Mayo Clinic College of Medicine and vice chairman of the Division of Gastroenterology and Hepatology. I'm here today to talk about a uh, study that's uh, just recently published in Gastroenterology uh, called the Colectomy Rate Comparison After Treatment of Ulcerative Colitis with Placebo or Infliximab. We did this study to uh, better understand whether treatment of ulcerative colitis with infliximab would reduce the need for surgery or the need for colectomy in patients with moderate to severe ulcerative colitis that were failing other therapies. Several years ago, we had previously published a study showing that infliximab induced clinical response and remission and bowel healing or mucosal healing and that it could maintain those effects out to the course of a year. In that initial study, we uh, hadn't been able to fully assess whether uh, treatment with, of ulcerative colitis with infliximab also reduced the need for surgery or a colectomy. And the reason for that was that uh, some of the patients failed the, the treatment with either infliximab or placebo early in the course and then moved off into uh, uh, observational uh, follow-up studies and some of them left the uh, trial entirely. So we had to go back and construct a, a series of ways to capture the information for patients that uh, didn't complete a full year of therapy to see if they had a colectomy during uh, that year. And uh, so that's what we did, and, and the focus of uh, this uh, publication now is really to look at whether uh, treatment with infliximab can reduce the need for surgery uh, compared to placebo. So uh, with that background about why we did the study and kind of how we did it, what uh, then were the findings? What, what we found was that treatment with uh, infliximab uh, reduced the need for colectomy by approximately 50% compared to patients uh, who were treated uh, with placebo over the course of a year. So this uh, then gives us an important addition to our knowledge about what uh, benefits treatment with infliximab has for ulcerative colitis. As I mentioned earlier, we, we already knew that infliximab would induce and maintain clinical response and remission and induce and maintain bowel healing as seen by flexible sigmoidoscopy or colonoscopy in patients with ulcerative colitis. But the, the most feared outcome of uh, colitis is really the need to remove the colon surgically. And what we now know from uh, this most recent study uh, is that in addition to those other clinical measures that uh, treatment with infliximab for ulcerative colitis at least over the course of a year can reduce the rate of uh, surgery by about 50 percent. And I think you know, that many patients will find that uh, an important outcome and many uh, physicians who are uh, considering the various uh, courses or options of treatment that they have for patients with ulcerative colitis really wanted to know the answer to that question about uh, colectomy as well, and now we have uh, good information that can help uh, guide uh, decision-making for patients and their doctors in clinical practice.